Alex, so many have tried and so many have failed. What makes Stratus a potentially different uh, premise? As I noted before, uh, number one, we have the advantage to learn from both what's happened well and what has failed with our predecessors. Number two, we're not using any new technology. All the major systems are already certified. The processes are already certified. So it's our privilege to take a great design and implement it with existing technology. And number three, we're driving the execution as a business. We're not trying to build an airplane and they will come. We're trying to build a profitable business with excellent return on investment for our in investors. If you can synopsize the Stratus 714. The Stratus 714 fills the niche in the market that none other have touched. Number one, it flies farther and faster, 41,000 feet and over 400 knots for 1,500 nautical miles. And it does so with luxury. There's room in the back seat. There's comfort for both pilot and passenger, as well as digital automation that makes it easy to fly. Now, a single piloted 400-knot uh, aircraft would be operating at 41,000 feet. Obviously, one of the things that's going to have to be built into this is handling qualities. That's a rough environment for anybody. The beauty of this system is because we have the thrust on the center line, on the center of pressure, and because we're only slightly transonic, we don't deal with a number of the issues at high altitude, high speed. In addition, the other question you haven't asked yet is, what happens if we lose the engine or depressurization? We're looking to implement the flight profile similar to what the Gulfstream 550 and 650 will have shortly, which is auto flight emergency descent. In addition, as a carbon composite airplane, we don't leak pressurization like an aluminum airplane does. Thus, we've got a much more secure pressure vessel. And by immediately closing the outflow valve, we can hold pressurization much, much longer. What kind of uh, considerations are you given to the cockpit for this aircraft? <laughs> as a pilot, as a flight instructor, having been trained on TAA aircraft, including the Garmin's and the Avidyne's and the Bendix King Honeywell systems, and being an alumni from the avionics business, I'm intimately familiar with both the challenges and the opportunity. And we're in the process of talking to each and every one of the major vendors for their best integrated cockpit solution. But ultimately, it will be driven by our customers. Two million? Two million dollars today, that is correct. And about when would we expect something like this foreseeably on the market? Like I told you before, we're looking to operate with quiet competence at this point. So let us get a little bit farther down, lock the risk, lock the schedule. And when we're at 99% comfort with that, we will make that announcement. Well, Alex, we look forward to hearing about that and down the line getting a chance to fly the airplane. We look forward to showing it to you. Thank you very much for your time. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.